Hello and welcome to the channel. In this video, I will share with you what I packed to go to Costa Rica and why. It can easily be applied to other locations throughout Central America or other destinations. The video is broken into chapters. Feel free to skip around to any section you may like or need. I've included links to the items in the description box below. Be sure to check that out as well. You will see helpful tips sprinkled throughout this video. Feel free to comment below with any suggestions or ideas you may have. If you get something of value from this video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more related travel content. Be sure to check out our Costa Rica video as well. So hello and welcome. This is what I'm bringing to Costa Rica. First up is my main carry-on bag. It is a Wandered Hexod 40 liter duffel bag. And it's got a lot of spaces, a lot of features to it. I'm trying to put some distinguishing markings on it so that it stands out a little bit from using these little orange tags, so on and so forth. But just want to give you an idea of what I'm going to be bringing here to Costa Rica. First, some of these accessories. A travel wallet, a dry bag, an EMS Thunderhead rain jacket, which is nice and lightweight. I'll have two tank tops, underwear and socks. I might add another couple there. Uh, this is a fishing shirt by AFTCO. And this will have a hood, long sleeve, protect you from the sun with a U... Uh, UPF, uh, USF rating of 50 plus, I believe. Uh, these are some Tech Wick gear shirts from EMS Tech Dry. <clears throat> and uh, these shirts will wick a lot of moisture. Being in the tropical region, want to have shirts that can kind of do that. Uh, over here is my Ticos soccer shirt. <clears throat> and I'm really excited to bring that to Costa Rica. I've got a t-shirt. I might grab another t-shirt. I might just kind of use these over here. This is a polo shirt from, from EMS that will also uh, wick away moisture with two cotton shirts, which uh, are not the best, but I've got a lot of shirts that I can use to wick moisture. Got a long pair of Adidas pants, uh, Patagonia here, long pair of Patagonia pants. I forgot what this is called, but I'll put a link in the description below. Got a pair of shorts, microfiber towel, my bathing suit, two pairs of shorts, actually three pairs of shorts here. Uh, so I've got some shorts that I can wear, some long stuff over here. Uh, I've got a long sleeve shirt, should I need it, with some combination of cotton fiber stuff with uh, some other polyester and fake stuff. Travel accessories such as the dry bag which when we go to some spots where there will be moisture we want to have that. Not sure if we'll need this but uh, you're going to be in the tropics it's good to probably bring a rain jacket with you. And uh, some other accessories here. <clears throat> a pair of sunglasses and my hat. I want to just kind of show you inside this part of the my bag here. I'm traveling with some water shoes. These are really simple water shoes. I think ten dollars on Amazon. I'm gonna to try to buy uh, Keen sandals to use for a little bit more rugged, uh, but still having sandals that can dry. And I'll bring a pair of sneakers with me. I'll probably have uh, with me another set of clothing so that I can ha carry some of the thicker clothing on my body as I go through the airport. just want to give you an overview of what the bag is going to look like and I'll try to pack the bag so you can see what that will look like when it's all fitted in. Okay, I want to talk about this belt right here. This is a travel belt with a zipper on the inside that will allow you to store money and other items here. And I uh, want to kind of keep things inconspicuous. I might put that belt with these pants or any of my shorts over here. That way I'll be able to travel with a little extra money on my waist and not be very obvious about it. Uh, other security thing I got going on over here is the travel belt. This will conceal, be able to hold some of our um, 
some passports, maybe some money. Uh, but the Venture 4 uh, travel pack is highly rated. I'm excited to kind of put this in uh, motion. Already tried to size and fit things uh, so that it's good to go when we're ready to go on vacation. Two tips. First tip, pack your bags one week before you leave. That way you can see if all your items fit, if you need to remove any items, or you have more space to bring extra stuff with you. Tip two, size anything like travel belts or your luggage straps or dry bag straps that might need to be sized before you go. So for my uh, liquids I'm gonna bring on, you gotta follow the uh, three ounce rule. One quart size bag, one per customer. Uh, so here are some of the liquids that I'll be bringing. <clears throat> bringing Neutrogena Sensitive Skin 60 plus SPF protection. Can of Barbasol, two fluid ounces to shave. Men's Dove Extra Fresh Body and Face Wash. Gonna bring uh, some insect repellent, anti-bug, uh, non-DEET organic certified. Bring in a small tube of Crest toothpaste. As you can see, they fit into the one quart size bag pretty nicely. That's it all sealed up. Some additional items that belong into my small travel uh, toiletry bag. Let's see what we got here. I've got some teeth whitening crest strips, my fusion uh, blade. This will be a, a facial wet a towelette. Great little buy here, which are uh, roll-on sunscreen protectors, SPF 50. Got men's uh, deodorant, lip balm, gold bond powder, which will be good for a couple of different things, tooth floss, cologne. Second one of these toothbrush, some additional things over here, okay this is the final setup here, I was able to fit everything inside the bag, and I use a little lock over here, in addition to other little things. These have a strap. I can put this bag on my this duffel bag on my back. <laughs> All right, and there you have it. Okay, next up here is the Ozuku, Ozuko uh, carry-on sling. This is a great little sling slash small security backpack. We kind of go over some of the stuff here with it. Uh, first, let me start out with this. It's got a strap, nice mesh lined padded for you to carry, feels soft, able to kind of like take some sweat. Uh, in the armband here, there's a little pocket where you can store money or a card or something kind of hidden, not easily seen. You can change the uh, side, the size of this. Here, you can clip on either side so that you can change where you're carrying the bag from. There is a little pocket here, which you can fit uh, precious, uh, you know, things. Maybe like money. You can fit jewelry, you know, stuff back here, hidden so it would be against the back side, not so easy to kind of see. Uh, there's other features as well. On this side chamber over here, there's a good size little baggage compartment that fits kind of in the softer, the harder aspect of the shell over here. It's like a harder soft shell. I don't know how to describe it. Uh, but basically, put 
Got a lot of room in there. Might put a little water bottle, collapsible water bottle in there. Uh, you've got a three digit lock right now. I'm not gonna fiddle with it, but it's a great feature. This bag opens kind of like clamshell style. There's a zippered compartment here that goes back quite a ways. I've got my travel wallet here and I'll talk about that in a few seconds. Another chamber, always carry a bandana, always good to kind of have. In here I got my power bank. It's a 10,000 mega amps uh, UBO Labs power bank. Uh, you know, small but good enough, powerful uh, for what I need. I can put other things in this compartment. There's even a little chamber over here next to where I can put the battery. I've got two pencil or pen chambers. And uh, this kind of thing is something I will use on the go and take with me when I'm out and about in foreign lands. This here is a travel wallet. I don't remember exactly the name of the brand and it's terrible because it is fantastic. It's a leather bound. I paid $50 for this. Uh, it is really nice. It's zip seal, which is fantastic. It's able to hold, as you can tell, four passports for myself and my wife and two kids. There are three slots back here that you can use to put in cards. I'm going to put my uh, you know, credit card information stuff there. I'll basically have this. I think it's uh, RF, uh, you know, protected as well. Uh, got my information there. What I like about this also, in addition to carrying my passport information, I've got my vaccination information for each person in here. Carries all of that in a great way. I'm able to put money on this side over here. I'm from the United States, so I can put my US dollars on this side. And then on this side over here, there's another chamber where I can put any of the currency from the lands that I'm going to. In this case, I'm gonna to go to Costa Rica. So uh, this is fantastic. There's a nice little uh, even pocket back over here. Kind of holds some additional cards, something easy to get to. It seals up and it goes very nicely in my backpack where I can carry all of this close to my person it goes right in carry all of this close to my person have it locked up and you know easy to access for me multiple features and multiple flexibility when we're out on the go somewhere in a new land tell me in the descriptions what you think that's kind of my, my uh, these two, I might slide this underneath here. I might carry this on my person, carry this and have my other luggage. All right, so I'm gonna try to go through and explain some of my additional carry on stuff. This bag I use for electronics. And it says Travel Pro. It's a gift for my wife. I'll try to include a link in the description below. Uh, this is great for carrying electronics and some other stuff. Anything that can fit underneath the seat of your airplane. Uh, it can carry through handle here. That opens up through Velcro. And it's got an armband that you can carry over your shoulder. I carry a little extra luggage lock keep my stuff secure okay so I've taken the lock off here I'm opening up this and I'll show you uh, pretty much everything I've got going on in here there's a little front slot right here I have a deck of playing cards my uh, MacBook charger brick fits nicely in there I could probably store even a little bit more stuff in there it's nice, easy to access. There's uh, another chamber here. I've got my uh, iPhone's, uh, you know, water case that I'm gonna use. It's nice for some cordage. Nice little thin compartment, hold some papers. 
There's a side compartment here. This strap can come undone, giving you more room. Put this uh, strap on the inside. This bag actually fits underneath the seat of the airplane. Got my glasses. Ray-Ban Blue need to be cleaned. And for Costa Rica, gonna have a pair of binoculars so we can see wildlife from afar. So pretty good birding binoculars. That chamber comes up here. The main chamber is where I carry all my other electronics. It would be nice to see if Travel Pro actually put like a little extra carrier stuff in here perhaps. Something super thin, but this main chamber carries a lot. Here's my Mavic 2 uh, bag for my drone. And I've got more stuff here. This is my GoPro accessory bag, which should be closed all the way. It carries my GoPro accessories. I have some Tenergy LiPo Guard bags, which are excellent for holding lithium drone batteries and other like other lithium based batteries when you fly up in the air you want to be responsible make sure that you are protecting uh, things like batteries which could potentially ignite due to the pressure changes and things like that uh, if your battery is not taken good care of and not in good working repair uh, but this chamber carries quite a lot there's a zipper bag over here where I'm carrying some additional stuff. I've got my uh, drone four bank charger. And I've got a small widget light from uh, County Com S Ring. Thing I can use to kind of prop stuff up. And it is perfect. Allows me to carry all that rugged gear, relatively light. I've got multiple carry options. And uh, I can't say enough about it.